There are three major guidelines that deal with preoperative cardiac risk assessment. US guidelines, European guidelines, and Canadian guidelines. While there are some common themes, there are also some major differences between them. It can get very confusing for the busy clinician. We aimed to summarize these recommendations and to point out the similarities and the differences as well as what we do in practice. My name is David Raslau, and I'm an assistant professor of medicine in the Division of General Internal Medicine at Mayo Clinic. We just published an article titled Preoperative Cardiac Risk Assessment, which will appear in the May 2020 issue of Mayo Clinic Proceedings. This paper is one in a larger series dealing with perioperative medical management. Our paper focuses on preoperative cardiac risk assessment. All of the guidelines agree that we should pursue a stepwise assessment of procedure-specific and patient-specific risk factors. All recommend determining the surgical urgency. All recommend additional risk stratification if there is elevated risk. The differences are on how much evaluation is needed for this additional risk stratification. U.S. and European guidelines generally focus on clinical outcomes and therefore recommend much more testing that can be done. The Canadian guidelines focus much more on cost effectiveness and therefore reducing testing. In addition, in our paper we address myocardial injury after non-cardiac surgery, abbreviated MINS. MINS is defined as myocardial injury due to ischemia occurring within 30 days after non-cardiac surgery. This is an important issue because mortality in these patients is increased for the 30-day post-op period and even beyond. Current estimates suggest about 8% of patients experience MINS. MINS was not addressed in the most recent US and European guidelines, which were written in 2014, before the topic of MINS became popular. The Canadian guidelines, written in 2017, seem to focus almost exclusively on detecting MINS. This is why their protocols encourage the use of BNP and NT pro-BNP preoperatively, and troponins and electrocardiograms postoperatively. We discuss how we incorporate these recommendations in our practice and what we do with MINS. We hope and expect that in the near future there will be additional updates to at least the US and European guidelines. We anticipate that one of the most important updates will be in regards to MINS, as these societies haven't really commented on MINS previously. We will see if there are any other major changes to recommended evaluations, but for now, this is the best summary of the best practice guidelines for preoperative cardiac risk assessment. Thank you for listening, and we hope you enjoy reading the article. We hope you found this presentation from the content of our website valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our homepage is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you'll find access to information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about Healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.